and welcome to the ninth video series of Terraform. So in today's session, I will be demonstrating about how to use for each meta argument in Terraform. So it basically do what it will allow you to provide multiple values at a time. The values in the sense like either it is a map or a set of strings. So going forward, we will see what is map and set. So in the simple manner, we can say that it is a multiple value you are passing. Correct. If you want to create a n number of resources, right? So you are not going to write separate separate block for n number of resources. So instead of that, we can pass all the values at a place and we, by using for each loop, we can create multiple things in a single resource block. Okay. So let's go ahead and let's see how we can make use of it. So this is a CIDR block. So here I'm creating a AWS VPC. So if I want uh, another VPC to create what I what we will do, like see, if you will just change this uh, uh, logical name here, right? And along with that, you can change here the CIDR range, something like this, slash 24. So like this here we are getting we can create two okay if you have four that also possible but if we have multiple then are we going to rewrite the code again and again right this is not a best code approach correct so instead of that we have for each loop for each so see suppose you are passing here right so how you will do variableize so in simple manner variable vpc cidr and here default you can pass uh, this is a list okay so this this is a list inside that you can pass this right you will pass this here okay let me do one thing correct and you will call that here where dot vpc c idea okay so this is done but how about if you want multiple vpc c idea correct and right now it is using just one because we have passed one and this is a list list of string right so again what we will do again let's take a copy of it again in the same way you will pass something like that this time plus 24 okay so if it have multiple value then how we will call this into here right one by one we can pass like zeroth value should come here uh, one value should come here so what we will do now we will apply the for each for each equals to here you have to provide the what variable name is containing these all values that is vpc cidr correct and um, once this is done how you will pass each value of this uh, vpc cidr like each dot value so how you will do that so just to each dot value okay once this is done so see this is a type of list and for each a work with as we have as we have seen here either it accept a map or a set of string correct so but this is a list of a string right correct so but it accept the for each accept a, a set of a string but it is we are passing here a list of a string right so that is not a correct case so what we will do here let's go ahead and let's do a plan and let's see the output first let's write terraform plan correct so here the same thing you can see argument must be a map or a set of a string so that is a challenge like how we will convert this list of a string to the map of set of a string so that is very simple you just have to do types to set that is a function of Terraform that allows you to convert the list of string into the set of map, set of a string. Okay. Once this is done, let's go ahead and let's do plan again. Correct. 
okay so it's working correct right so like this from here you can pass multiple values here right instead of one more thing let's let me include here what i want here for each for each vpc i want to name right so what how we can name it just give it tags what is the name of the key that is name itself and what is the value we want to pass like for each for each uh, this CID range I want to assign like how you will do like this uh, this belongs to means uh, development in what environment then how you will define simply just do a uh, dev equals to this and this is for prod then prod equals to this okay maybe this need uh, now it's no more a list right now it is it is converted into map because you have a value you have a key along with a value so this is not a list now right so instead of the list symbol what you have to do just convert this to this and take everything here to here there just paste the value remove the things okay okay so what i want here each dot value you have seen right each and every value it is taking that is perfect but what i want here in the name section every time it should it every time it should uh, for each and it should take the key value as the name of this vnet right so how you will pass simply like the way you are passing each dot each dot key okay once this is done let's do plan let's wait for a moment So you can see we got some error cannot convert object to set of any single value types right so this is not at all required now correct because earlier we were converting the list of a string to set of a string now it is already map correct so to set of this for each work with the map and a set of a string it is already a map so let's go ahead and let's trade off from plan again so now you can see it is working right correct so like this you can use make use of for each loop and you can pass multiple values at the same time and so this also uh, motivates you to do the code reusability okay instead of writing this block again and again like in the early starting of this lecture i have told you like how to do it so instead of that it is better approach right and directly you can provide the value the key name and the value and you can, you are directly passing here right value it is taking correct for the zeroth value each dot key is taking zero and this is the one which is taking the value means it is taking dev and this value first time again it has count of uh, two means zero and one again next time it will take prod and it will take the second value right so that's it for today thank you